Hi kids! Welcome to our online service that's been produced specially for you. God's mercies are for you every morning. Amen. Amen. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over me. Hey, oh, hey, oh, I receive your mercy. Hey, oh, I receive your grace. Hey, oh, I will dance forevermore. Hey, oh, hey. Blessing is falling. Blessing is falling, is falling, is falling. Blessing is falling like a sweet spring rain. Blessing is falling, is falling all over me. Blessing is falling. Blessing is falling, is falling, is falling. Blessing is falling like a sweet spring rain. Blessing is falling, is falling all over me. Hey, yo, oh, I receive your mercy. Hey, yo, oh, I receive your grace. Hey, yo, oh, I will dance forevermore. Hey, yo, oh. hey, yo, oh, I receive your blessing. Hey, oh, I receive your grace. Hey, oh, I will dance forevermore. Healing is falling. Healing is falling, is falling, is falling. Healing is falling like a sweet spring rain. Healing is falling, is falling all over me. Healing is falling, is falling, is falling. Healing is falling like a sweet spring rain. Healing is falling, is falling all over me. Hey, oh, hey, oh I receive your healing. Hey, oh, I receive your grace. Hey, oh, I will dance forevermore. Welcome back. I hope all of you have had a good week at school. Thank you for joining us this evening. I hope you remember that last week we learned about obedience, about following God's instructions. We learned that Jesus has given us his written instructions, the Bible, so that we can receive his blessings and do what is right. Today, we are going to be continuing to learn about obedience. We will learn how to obey the will of God and do what God wants us to do. Let's do a quick activity before we get into the lesson. Shall we children? Are you all ready? How many of you enjoy solving puzzles? Give me a thumbs up in the live chat if you do. Great! I have a maze puzzle for you all now. It's going to be displayed in the screen. To solve this puzzle, Place your finger or back of your pencil on the screen and start right where it says start 
and you try to find an open path in the puzzle that lead you all the way where it says finish. Of course, you can't cross through any lines. Come on kids, you have 15 seconds to solve this. Your time starts now. Well done everyone! Did any of you find it difficult to solve? It was a bit frustrating too, right? Can you tell me in the live chat what challenges did you face while trying to solve the puzzle? Come on children, type it down. What are your challenges? Quickly! Yes, you often had to change the direction you were going in, right? Sometimes the path you chose led you to a dead end. Some of you may have wanted to ask someone to help you. Yes, but although it was difficult and you had challenges, did you feel good after you solved it and reached the finish? Yes, I'm sure you'd have had a feeling of satisfaction when you finally reached your goal. Today, we are going to learn that God has a plan for each of us. He has a path that He wants us to follow and He wants us to be successful in reaching the goal that He has for us. The path may not always be easy, just like this maze puzzle. We may often face difficult choices in deciding what God wants us to do. Sometimes, we may even have to change the direction we are going in in life. When we realize that we have made wrong choices. Following the will of our God for our lives is not always easy, but God is always there to help us if we will just ask Him to guide us. And we need to obey Him and follow His will. Now before we go any further, let us pray, shall we? Okay children, please close your eyes and bow your heads. Let's close our eyes and pray. Dear God, thank you for this time. Thank you for all the grace and mercy you have given to us. Lord, I pray that each one of us watching will learn to be obedient, follow your path. I pray that each one of us will follow your word. I pray that each one of us watching will be blessed. In Jesus' name I ask, Amen. So we learn that we need to be obedient and follow God's will, right? But how do we know the will of God? It's right here, the Bible. The Bible helps us to understand what God wants us to do. And God speaks to us through the Bible, right? It says in James chapter 1 verse 22, Obey God's message. Don't fool yourself by just listening to it. Now this means that when we read the Bible or when we listen to someone preach it and teach us from the Bible, we must obey and do what it tells us to do. And not just listen to it and forget about it. Now let me demonstrate it for you. This jug of water represents the Bible, the Word of God. And these things here, the funnel, a strainer, and the sponge represents us, the people who read it and listen to the word of God. Now, all of us respond to the word of God in different ways. Now, sometimes we are like this funnel. What's happening here? The water which represents the word of God just went in from one end and came out to the other end. Now, if we are like this funnel, we don't get anything that God is telling us through his word. It's similar to going to church, listening to the preacher and then forgetting about it as soon as church is over. Or we read the Bible and the next minute we can't remember what we read. 
So, are we like the funnel? Or sometimes, we are like the strainer. What do you think is happening here? The water which represents the word of God went in but it didn't stay long in here. Even whatever little was stuck in the strainer goes away when it was shaken. This is when we read the word of God but we do not have the faith to believe in what it says. When we are troubled and in need of help, we do not pray and trust God because we don't have the faith to believe in God even when we know His word. So the same thing here, if we are like the strainer, God's word cannot remain in us. Now watch what happens when we are like this sponge. Gonna place the sponge here. Now watch. Now you see that the sponge is slowly soaking up all the water that is poured in it. This is how it is when we absorb the word of God. And this is how God wants us to be. He wants the word of God to become part of us. Now children, tell me something. Is it enough to just absorb the word of God? Let's see what happens when we just keep absorbing the word of God. It's absorbing, absorbing. Sponge is absorbing all the water. We're gonna get it to soak up every corner of the sponge. Nicely absorbed. What do you think will happen after a point, children? Hmm. After you soaked up the word of God, it starts to pour out. We can't absorb anymore. We can't hold it in. That's why when we receive the word of God in our lives, we must also share it with others and bless others. And then we will be able to receive more from God. Once we've given it all out, we are now able to receive more. When we read the word of God and do what it teaches us to do, and when we obey it, we will also bless others. That's why the Bible tells us in Luke chapter 11 verse 28. Let's all read it together. These are Jesus' words. He says, Instead, how blessed are those who hear God's word and obey it. Now children, we learn that God speaks to us through the Bible and helps us understand His will. Now God can also use prayers or our conscience to speak to us. Sometimes the Holy Spirit living inside of us gives us a feeling of what we should do. Sometimes God uses other Christians to help us know what to do. Now let's listen to a testimony of Auntie Helen and see how she and her family recognized God's instructions and obeyed it. Hi kids, I'm going to share my testimony with you. When my son finished his 12th standard, we wanted him to study engineering. So he did the entrance exam for it, but we did not know which college he would get into. When my husband was praying, the Lord revealed to him and told him to send our son to Karunya, which is in Tamil Nadu, to do his engineering. When my husband shared this with us, my son and I were not ready for this change. My son was very close to me and I did not want to send him far away to another state for his studies. So I did not agree to send him. But after two weeks, my husband again told me 
that he strongly felt in his spirit that the Lord wanted us to send our son to Karunya for engineering. But I still didn't want to send my son away from Bangalore. Then my husband told me not to stand in the way of the Lord's blessing in our son's life. This made me realize that it was God's call in my son's life. Then I obeyed the Lord and submitted to his guidance. Children, remember, we learned that the path that God wants us to go in may not always be easy, right? Just like the maze puzzle. In the same way, it was not easy for us either. My son was so angry with us. He rebelled, he was bitter and refused to listen to what we told him. But because we know that it was God's plan in his life, my husband and I started praying for him. After a few weeks, slowly my son changed his mind and agreed to join the college and we got his admission done. But that was not the end of the matter. When we reached the campus, he again changed his mind and did not want to stay there. He said, I will not stay here even for one minute. But my husband and I, we knew that we had to do the right thing and obey God. So we left him there and started off to Bangalore. We surrendered the situation to the Lord and we prayed continuously. We obeyed the Lord's command and refused to bring him back. Children, the next two months were very difficult for us, but we never gave up. We continued to pray for our son. Children, you know the power of prayer, right? Guess what happened? Slowly, the Lord started working in our son's life. He began to take interest in his studies. My son, who was still then an average student up to his 12th standard, now started to excel in his studies. He did so well that he received a scholarship of 40,000 each year for doing excellent in his studies. When my son also submitted to God's will, the Lord made his life also easier. God enabled him to finish his engineering successfully. And another thing happened children in his life. During his final year, the Lord touched his life and enabled him to take water baptism. Today, as we look back, we are amazed at how the Lord led him these four years and how his life is blessed. We thank God for enabling us to obey and to submit to his will. And today we rejoice in what the Lord has done in our lives. All glory and honor we give to our Lord Jesus Christ. Children, God had a plan for my son and the path that we had to take was not easy. We had to make difficult choices, but God was with us. And because we obeyed God, we were blessed. This reminds me of the power verse for today. Can we all learn it together? It's from Luke chapter 11 verses 28. It says, Instead, how blessed are those who hear God's word and obey it. Shall we all repeat it together? Luke chapter 11 verses 28. Instead, how blessed are those who hear God's word and obey it. Now, Here's a challenge for you children. I'm going to jumble up the words in this power verse and you will have to arrange it in the right order. 
Are you ready for the challenge? You will have 30 seconds to get it right. Let's go. Well done, children. Let's all read it out together one last time. Luke chapter 11 verses 28. Instead, how blessed are those who hear God's word and obey it. Good job, children. That's it for today, kids. Now, let's pray before we close. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for today's online service. Thank you for speaking to each one of us about the importance of obedience, Lord. Help us, Lord, to obey you every day in our lives. Thank you for teaching us this Bible verse, Lord, that how blessed are they who hear God's word and obey it. Lord, help us, Lord, to hear your word every day and obey it. Holy Spirit, we ask you, Lord, to help us to be obedient to Jesus every day of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for empowering us to do this. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hope you enjoyed today's online service, kids. We sure had a good time teaching all of you. Join us again next week to learn more from God's Word. Oh hey, do any of you have a testimony to share or a prayer request you want us to pray for? You can write to us at kidsonline at apcwo.org. We'll be glad to hear from you. Wishing all those celebrating their birthdays this week a very happy birthday. God bless you. We will be praying for you. Bye!